Hello and welcome to your next task. You've finished your fantasy map and now it's time to go on with the inking. You will need a fine liner for that. It can be quite a tedious job but it can have great results if you stick to it. Have patience, just relax a little bit. If you get a little bit cramped just stop, um, relax and then go on with a different section of your uh, drawing. Let's have a look at how I'm doing the inking. Well, first off, I'm using a fine liner, and you should have one uh, as well. If you don't, a uh, regular black pen, black ballpoint pen will work as well. Um, uh, anything that's sharp and leaves an ink, you can even use Indian ink if you want to. Um, yeah, so I'm. I'm starting at the top and working my way down and pretty much working all over the place just making sure that I don't smudge the wet ink with a fine liner is not that that hard because the ink dries really fast but uh, with a normal fountain pen you will have to wait a little bit until the ink is dry because you really don't want any smudges on your on your nice drawing because those smudges won't come off, you can't erase those smudges I'm afraid. So be careful when you're working with um, with um, with ink, especially with uh, a fountain pen. Uh, you can also see that I works a lot on the water around the island and in between the uh, islands. Um, I didn't really include a lot of waves, but I thought it was kind of missing something, it was a bit empty. I mean, you could fill it in with a bit of color, then you would have to do the land as well, and all the other, the different landscapes as well. So, I thought I'd include a couple of waves, and tiny little waves with a little line attached to it. Um, and in between the islands, I went overboard a bit, and the waves are a bit too big, I didn't want to have um, those huge waves all over the place. I thought it was nice just to have a couple of bigger waves. In hindsight I might have put the uh, slightly larger waves outside uh, of the islands, maybe to the right where there is just one slightly bigger wave, maybe that would have looked a little bit better. Um, here I'm adding in the, um, uh, the forest. I'm making sure that, well maybe not tracing each and every one of the trees but uh, that overall you kind of have a good idea of uh, what the forest uh, looks like, the, the overall shape as it is. You can even add in a couple of, um, couple of small details with pen straight away, maybe a little uh, hut inside the forest or a little road in running through the forest. I don't know, that's something that you can come up with while you are inking. Just Small stuff like that, that's fine. Maybe not the big stuff. Well, it doesn't really work for me, either, to be honest. So, <coughs> here I'm adding in the um, uh, the roads. I already outlined where they're supposed to uh, lead, so it's it's quite easy to just uh, trace them. It's, um, it's a quite tedious job, so normally I just relax, have... Um, have some music, just uh, and let the pen do the work. If sometimes I get a little bit of a crampy hand, especially when working working with a fine liner, I just stretch a little bit and then carry on. I mean, the end result is that's what counts. And this drawing took me about an hour, quite a long time. And even it took me um, it took me longer to finish the inking than I did to finish the um, the initial design because you kind of have to pay uh, close attention to what you're drawing and how you're drawing it. So the tiny little mistakes that I could have made or that I had made um, with the pencil drawing of course I don't want to repeat those same um, mistakes when I am drawing an ink. With the mountains I'm making sure that I add a a little bit of shade on the right side of each mountain top. 
I didn't do that for the hills, I think. <coughs> but I could you know, just as well do that as well. Um, afterwards, if you want, you can um, add in some color. And, well, d depending on the color that you want to use, I mean, if you want to use something like a um, colored pencil, you can do that after you finish the um, the inking. But if you want to use something like uh, watercolor, you should do that before you start inking, of course, because um, the inking will get smudged if you add in a layer of watercolor afterwards. Well, after I finished uh, the inking, um, normally I erase uh, many of the lines that uh, lie underneath because sometimes they kind of stick out a little bit and you get a little bit of a cleaner result as uh, um, for your final. And while you're working on your drawing you might get some, some other ideas. Um, don't be afraid, just include them in your drawing. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as it fits with the rest of the of the map, of course. That, but you probably know what to do. So I added in this little lighthouse that you see on the right there and the little ship that I'm working on. I added that one in a little, little bit later as well. Yeah, so don't be afraid to just include a couple of other ideas. Um, it's not that important, especially not the big one. I shouldn't, don't want to include a uh, third island at, at this stage, but tiny little, uh, tiny little ideas, that's all fine. So we're nearing the end of this um, of this inking session. Um, after this video is finished, I still include a couple of other things. I didn't, as you've noticed, I didn't do the lettering just yet. I outlined the uh, the banners. I'm working on that, as you can see. But I didn't do the lettering. Um, I looked up some uh, letters that I liked, and in got inspired by uh, those letters to make letters of my own. You might find them in the link that I gave you. You can copy um, something, but it's better to come up with uh, your own work, of course. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.